Hey there, in this video we are going to look at multiplying variables together as well as multiplying negative numbers and then a quick um, touch on our multiplication facts. So at times, instead of a number, you will encounter an expression that includes unknown or unidentified numbers. Instead of a numeric value, they will be represented as a letter. For example, a plus B or C times V, so on and so on. These are called variables. So when two such numbers, and again, we use letters to represent those numbers, are multiplied by one another, it is often common not to actually write the multiplication sign. So for example, three times A, we typically will just write as three A, or X times Y, we will typically just write as X, Y. Additionally, it's good to know how distribution works and specifically factors and how those work together, factors and distributing. So factors are numbers which can be presented as internal multipliers of a number. So for example, the number six, if I look at the number six, I can list the factors, the natural factors, meaning whole number factors of six by thinking of what two whole numbers multiply together to be six. So if you think about it, one times six is going to give us six. So one and six are both factors of six. Additionally, two times three is going to give us six. So two and three are factors of six. Now four does not have a whole number that it multiplies with to give you six, same with five. So those are not going to be on the list of natural factors of the number six. Now, when a number or an expression multiplies an expression in parentheses, it means that if you wish to get rid of those parentheses, then that multiplier in front becomes a factor or gets multiplied by each term within the parentheses, and terms are always separated by addition or subtraction. So, for example, if I look at 2 times a minus 4. Now, 2 times a minus 4, a is a term in the parentheses, and 4 is a term in the parentheses, separated by subtraction. You can think of that 4 as a negative 4, um, or you can think of it as subtraction, which we'll get into in a little bit um, what you might do with that. Okay, so here in this specific example, 2 times a minus 4, we distribute the 2 to each term in the parentheses, so 2 times a minus 2 times 4. 2 times a is typically written 2a. 2 times 4 is 8, and we still have subtraction in between. Additionally, we have b times 3 plus c. Now, in the parentheses, 3 and c are your terms because they are, they are separated by addition. So we will multiply the number, in this case the variable, in front by each term in the parentheses. So b times 3 and b times c. And again, it was addition in between those, so it remains addition there. Now, b times 3, typically you're going to write the number before the variable. So we see 3b, and then b times c is written as bc. So this 3b plus bc would be our simplified version. Now let's go ahead and try these two examples. So we have three times X minus seven. X is a term and seven is a term. Again, because we have subtraction in between those. So we'll multiply the three by each of those terms. Three times X minus three times seven. Now, I'm showing this in between step. You may not need to write that down. 3 times x is just going to be 3x minus 3 times 7, which is 21. So this is our simplified version once we have distributed. Now, in number 2, again, we want to look at what our terms are. So y and 9 are terms in the parentheses because they are separated by addition. So we take the W in front and multiply it by the Y and by the nine. W times Y is just going to be WY. W times nine, instead of writing W nine, remember we typically write the number in front. So that would be nine and then the variable W. And there's addition in between there, so it is going to be plus. So WY plus nine W 
that is your final answer on that one. Now, looking at multiplying negative numbers. So there are two basic rules that always stand. Positive multiplied by negative is going to be negative. So I like to write that out in signs like this. A positive times a negative is going to be a negative number. Now, that also works the other way around. If the first number were negative and the second number were positive, it's still going to be a negative. So basically, if you have one positive and one negative being multiplied together, you end up with a negative. Now, not listed here, I do want to point out a reminder, a positive times a positive is going to remain positive. So I show you some examples of the positive and the negative being multiplied together here. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. P times negative Q is negative PQ. And then finally, we see negative multiplied by negative. So that would be a negative times a negative is going to turn into a positive. So two negatives being multiplied together turn into a positive number. So for example, negative three times negative two, because they're both negative, it turns into a positive six. But it really is just the number three times the number two, which gives you six. And then because they're both negative, the negatives turn into a positive. So it is just going to be six. Negative 8 times negative A. Again, negative times negative turns into a positive. And so you're really just doing 8 times A, which is 8A. Every negative number, negative A, can be represented as multiplication of its positive form, so just A, by negative 1. So for example, we see here negative A is really negative 1 times positive A. As a result, the negative sign can always be withdrawn as a factor of any expression. Some examples, we look at negative eight. This can be rewritten as negative one times positive eight. So again, that negative can be pulled out as a negative one in front, multiplied by the positive version of what we started with. Now two was positive. If we pull out a negative one, we have to remember that if I write negative one times and leave it positive two, that's actually really negative one times two would be negative two, not positive two. So if I pull out a negative one here, when I um, rewrite it as two numbers being multiplied together, negative one and another number, that other number will be negative two because a negative times a negative is going to turn it back into that positive two that we started with. Usually we do not explicitly write the factor negative one. Instead, we usually just write the negative sign. So for example, like we saw negative A or negative eight, we would just write it like that. You should always remember that factors are multipliers of every term within a mathematical expression, which is separated by addition or subtraction signs. So for example, we see here eight minus three is really negative in front and then our set of parentheses, negative 8 plus 3. If you think about this, negative in front is a negative 1. And if I were to distribute it back in, negative 1 times negative 8 would give us a positive 8. Negative 1 times positive 3 would give us this minus 3 or negative 3. So those two really mean the same thing because we can pull out that negative 1 by switching each sign of each term that is represented here. And remember, terms are separated by addition or subtraction. Additionally, we see 2y plus c minus 4b. If I pull out a negative or a negative 1, again, you can put the 1 there or not. Typically, we don't. But if it helps you to see that, you can write that negative 1. Negative 1, if I pull out or divide out a negative 1 out of each of these three terms here, it's just changing the sign of those terms. So 2y pull out a negative 1, we have negative 2y left minus c plus 4b. So all three terms are opposite signs. Same thing here, negative 2 times 5 minus a. This time we are looking at distributing. So with the distributing, negative 2 times 5 and negative 2 times negative a. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Negative 2 times negative a. If you do negative 2 times negative a, remember you're doing a negative times a negative, which will be positive, so it will just be 2a, and that's where we get this plus 2a right here. In light of the above, consider the following expression, a times negative b. Now, it can be re rewritten as negative 1 times positive a times positive b, 
or more commonly just negative AB. So we can write it all together without a negative one, just a negative sign instead, and without any multiplying signs. So for example, no asterisk, no middle dot, no X, just negative AB. So every time you need to calculate the product of a positive and a negative number, you are really just multiplying the two numbers together as if they are positive and then putting a negative sign in front of your answer. Similarly, every time you need to calculate the product of two negative numbers, you are going to multiply them together as if they're positive and that double negative being multiplied together cancels out and it still is positive. So you do not put a negative in front of it. So again, just to give you a quick example of that, if we had three times negative two, we're really just doing three times two to give us six, but because we have a positive times a negative, we would put a negative in front. If I had negative three times negative two, I'm really thinking of this as just three times two, which is six and no negative sign in front because it's a negative times a negative. So a product of three negative numbers yields a negative number and a product of an odd number of negative numbers yields a negative number. So in other words, if we have three negatives being multiplied together, if you think about the first two negatives being multiplied, that will actually turn into a positive number times the third negative we had and a positive times a negative is actually going to be a negative number. So three negative numbers being multiplied together will turn out to be negative. And in general, an odd number of negative number comes out to be a negative number. So any odd number of negative numbers being multiplied together, three negative numbers, five negative numbers, seven, so on and so on, that's going to come out to be a negative number. Now for Looking at the next bullet point, we have four negative numbers yields a positive number. And they generalize it even more to say even number of negative numbers yields a positive number. So here, four negative numbers, if I multiply four negative numbers together, we have a negative times a negative, and we can look at this negative times this negative. A negative times a negative is a positive. And then again, a negative times a negative is a positive. Multiply two positives together and you will come out with a positive number. So four negative numbers multiplies together to be positive. And therefore in general, an even number of negative numbers. So two negative numbers, four, six, eight, so on and so on, always multiply together to be a positive number. So now we can look at negative a times negative b which is the same as really a times b or just a b so looking at these examples here three times negative four we can really think of that as just three times four but because we have a positive times a negative we do have a negative result so three times four is 12 but it will be negative because positive times negative is negative negative a times nine same concept, we can really think of that as a times nine with a negative in front. So that will be negative nine a. Negative three times negative five. We don't need the negatives because a double negative being multiplied is really just going to be positive. So three times five is all we need to think about and that's going to be 15. And then down here we have negative two a times negative seven. Negative two a times negative seven this here we have two negative signs being multiplied together a negative times a negative and that's going to be a positive so we can just really think of this as 2a times 7. 2a times 7 will be 14a because 2 times 7 is 14 and then the a just gets written at the end and then we have negative 3 times negative 5 times negative 2b times 2. now notice there are four numbers here but there are only three negative signs across those four numbers. So when we have three negative signs, we have a negative answer. So we know for sure our answer is negative. So then from there, we really just need to multiply the numbers together without the negative sign. So three times five times two B times two. And again, because of the commutative property, we can multiply those together in any order, the two, the three, the five, and the two. Now I would probably look at it as two times three which is six and five times two, which is 10 and multiply those together to get 
60, and then we still have the B on the end. So that's going to be negative 60B as our final answer. Now, the 1 through 12 multiplication table would be a good tool to use to help memorize your basic multiplication facts since you will not have a calculator. This would be beneficial. At the very least, I would suggest using the 1 through 10 part of this table and memorizing those, but 1 through 12 could help you even further. So you can see here, and I'll put it all on one screen. You can see here the multiplication table um, in case you need a quick refresher on how to use it. These numbers over here and these numbers over here. We use those as our guiding numbers. So for example, one times one, if you find where those meet in the table, that's going to be your answer of one or seven times nine. If you find where those meet, that's going to be the answer to that. So seven times nine is 63. Um, let's see, 11 and 12. If you find where those meet, the row of 11 and the column for 12, that's going to be 132 when you do 11 times 12. So using this, you could make flashcards. You could find an online platform to make flashcards. But using this table to help you memorize those basic 1 through 12 facts would be beneficial for your test. All right. So in summary, we talked about distributing. So when we have a number in front of our parentheses and we have terms in the parentheses separated by addition or subtraction, for example, x and 4, we need to distribute that 2 to the x and to the 4. So 2 times x will be 2x, 2 times 4 will be 8, and we still have subtraction in between there. Additionally, we talked about multiplying negative numbers. So remember, a positive times a positive will remain positive. And then if we have one of our two numbers that is negative and one of our two numbers that is positive, we end up with a negative number when we multiply those together. So positive times a negative will be negative. That also works the other way around. Negative times a positive will be negative. And then additionally, we said a negative times a negative will be positive. Now, odd number of negative numbers multiplied together will be a negative number. So for example, if we had a negative times a negative times a negative, that's three negatives, and that will turn out to be a negative number. Whereas if we had an even number of negatives, so let's say four negative numbers being multiplied together, that would come out to be a positive number. So odd number of negatives is going to be a negative number, even number of negatives is going to be a positive number. And then finally, we talked about our multiplication table. Make sure that you look back at those 1 through 12 facts and really memorize those so that you are ready to go.